It's been a few days since I have shared this with you, but I thought I would give you an update before I do my next step, which I'll share with you as well. So the last thing you saw was all the shelves were in, and since then I have put all of the lights that I added batteries to above, and it's added some additional lighting up there, so that looks great. I've also moved all of our cleaning products in here and started adding some of the wicker baskets, but this is all gonna change and it's all gonna get tidy and I'm gonna neaten it up hopefully today. Um, I'm gonna use the wicker baskets. I've also got some other baskets coming to kind of put all of the bottles inside. And I'm also looking to transfer over to kind of more eco-friendly products to reduce my plastic waste as well. So that's something that I'll talk to you about in a minute. Um, We've had a big discussion about my ironing board over on Instagram. If you don't follow me over there, head over there now because um, conversation is always happening and um, I seriously value everyone's opinion so much. So they've helped me out a lot with that and I've bought a hook to go on the back of the door which I'm going to secure today and also a new cover to add to that. But um, yeah, so my next process today is going to be just kind of tidy everything up, label everything and... Um, I'm just gonna look looking lovely in here now so it's looking really good it's a far cry from where it was before but now I feel I've added everything it kind of just looks really messy again so I just want to get it sorted it's kind of been in my mind that I need to get it done so that is what we are going to do on this very rainy Wednesday afternoon these are the items that I have bought recently to add to the cupboard and these are the um, more eco-friendly cleaning products they come in these cardboard boxes and then inside you get like a little pod, if it comes out, here we go. So these little pods and then you put them in a bottle or whatever and you add, simply add just water and it creates whatever the cleaning is, the product is. So this is gonna be a kitchen cleaner. So I'll just pop that in there, add some water and then I'll have a eco-friendly bottle with my cleaning product inside. I picked up these bottles from Amazon. I will include a link in the description box below. They also come with these little chalkboard labels so you can add a label so you don't forget what they are. Um, also though, this company does send you a little label for you to stick onto the bottle as well. I dropped it, one second. Like this, so you can add that to the bottle too if you would prefer. So I got those and then I got some little tags to stick onto the wicker basket so I can label them as, as what they are. Um, I bought these little pegs, these little wooden pegs. I'm going to add these in there as well and I think I'm going to add things like my dusters and stuff off there and it's just quite nice to have pegs I think in a room. I think it's handy, you can hang bags etc etc. So I'm going to do them and I also think I'm going to paint them so that the same colour as the walls. And then this is the hook that I was telling you about to go on the back of the door for the ironing board. I had to get a slightly different one which had bigger hooks because the one I bought originally was quite thin. And it turns out that my ironing board has rather fat legs, so I did that. I got that, I think again it was from Amazon. And then the last thing was the ironing board cover which has this lovely grey stripe on it. So I'm going to add that to my ironing board and change that up completely. Um, something else, going back to kind of the eco side of things and um, I purchased this as well now this is obviously not for the cupboard it's more for like, in the kitchen for the um for dish washing and I just thought this was really really nice it's a um, dish brush set and you get a wooden one with a brush on the end and then you get two different types of brushes and a natural sponge so I'm going to use all of those over there at the moment this is kind of just I mean, I'm using an Ikea basket that I picked up recently, but it's just a bit of a mess. So I want to tidy that all up. And I actually went to TK Maxx today and they had this little thing. So I'm going to use this and I've got some eco, um, vegan friendly actually washing up liquid that I'm going to pop in there. And then I'm going to use these holders for the, for the brush and the little accessories to go inside. And then I'm going to just put it over there, which will be really nice. And this was only $6.99 from TK Maxx. So it was a bargain um yeah so i'm gonna do that now actually i think and then i'm gonna start on that. you take my life for granted say a bunch of stuff you never meet yeah Just being nothing else 
my job today is to sort out the cupboard and work out where all the cleaning bits and bobs are going to be stored inside there. Um, and really the first job that I have to do is to take everything out of the cupboard. <laughs> yeah, this ended up being a much bigger job than I thought. Oh wow, yeah, this um, is worse than I thought, I have to say. I generally think though a lot of it is just kind of baskets, which is okay. So I'm gonna start off by sorting out all the like cleaning products and putting them to one side and then working out all the baskets as well. Have a sort through all the cleaning products and work out which ones are kind of nearly empty and need to be used up first, etc, etc. Um, yeah, and then what I have done in here is I gave these a coat of paint um, last night. So they're now the same colour as the cupboard and they're going to be going up um, under here, just in there. And I can then hang, hang things in there. But yeah, it's all kind of empty in here now so it gives you a better view of it again. I need to... Uh, something I really want to do is work out where the basket placement's going to be before I organise the products. Because I want it to be organised is the idea. I really, really want this to be organised. But um, yeah, I think I've got um, I've got my hands full for the day. This would probably take me longer than I anticipated. But um, I'm excited to have it all done. It will look great when it's done. So yeah, I think the next step is now going to be to work out the baskets, the cleaning products, and work out the basket placement as well and get the pegs on the wall before looking at the products. Nothing more to say, let's just waste away. One more time is all we need. A bit of truth to face, not that innocent. We know what we did. I'm a sucker for your love. As you would have just seen, I was sorting out all of the um, products that I have, which turns out to be quite a lot. Um, and I've put them into categories. So I've kind of got general, living room, floor, um, kitchen, smelly things, more smelly things, windows, etc. And then like bathroom and stuff and empty bottles, sponges, cloths, tea towels, nearly empty, and then general junk that I need to just sort out what I want to keep. Um, I've got all my baskets out, I've cut all the tags off them and then I washed out any of the spare ones there in the garden. I do have a cleaning caddy and I'm just thinking that actually I want to load up my cleaning caddy with things that I like to use on a, like that I know that I will use on every single clean. So things like, you know, multi-surface polish, um, antibacterial, etc. I want to load that up in the cleaning caddy. But the rest of it can kind of all be stored away nicely. So I'm going to sort that all out. I've also got over here like a huge amount of kind of wax melts and candles and stuff. And I would love to store them in the cupboard as well. So I'm going to work out how I can do that too. Um, something else I've just done as well is I have attached the hooks onto the wall. So I can now put my um, dusters up. And yeah. Um, I'm now just going to work out actually kind of the layout, like what storage baskets I want where. I do vaguely know how I want it to look, so I'm just going to sort that out and then I can really work out what products I want to have inside them. Um, I think it will be things like cleaning cloths etc on this bottom shelf, but we will see. So I have got all of the baskets and stuff sort of in place they're not filled up yet I just wanted to kind of see how I wanted the layout to be and I think this is going to be the best layout for us um I've put these down here as well they look so much better now they're kind of one than the other and um the hooks are now all lined up with the little um like dusters on and stuff and that's my bosch basket down there so yeah I'm really really happy with how this is looking and now my next job is to get everything kind of organized and into a basket. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna start to be honest.
I have absolutely no idea. Actually, I think I do. I'm gonna start with my caddy as the best place to start and work out what it is that I like to use on a regular basis and then go from there. I've also got a little pussy get helper who loves to oversee everything that's going on. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do that now and then we should be finished. You take my love for granted Say a bunch of stuff you never mean, yeah and it's time for the big reveal. Ta-da! Look at that. That is one super organized cupboard. Oh, it's a stray peg. Um, <laughs> anyway, so you would have seen me go from start to finish with this. You would have seen um, kind of roughly how the state of it was before. If you watched the first part, of the video which I will link in um, and now this is the finished look look at that so before down here um, there was just stuff loads and loads of stuff it was piled high I didn't know what was at the bottom I didn't know I just basically didn't really know what was there and actually I ended up throwing pretty much all of it away um, and then I got this unit from Ikea um, not Ikea from Argos it was about £30 or something like that and it's literally made such a difference. It's just filled the space perfectly to start with. Um, there's a basket at the top which has got kind of bigger things in like I've got a soda stream and a drinks dispenser. I've also got other bits of lying around as well. Um, but then in here I've then been able to fit all the storage baskets and some of these have got cleaning products in and then some of them have also got like Olivia's like crafty stuff and her um, Play-Doh and things so that's good in there. And then there's kind of accessories bits and bobs at the bottom like I like to keep things like um wrapping paper and Christmas Christmas card like birthday cards and stuff for that you know those occasions when um that happens and you forget <laughs> so yeah they are all safely tucked away in there and it just looks so much neater and tidier I also have my cleaning caddy down there at the bottom because I didn't have anywhere else for it to go but it's super easy and to hand um being down there which is great and then these are probably my pride and joy, which are the shelves. I am so impressed with them. I think they look brilliant. And they've also lifted everything up, which has made such a big difference too. Um, you would have seen me organising bits and bobs. So I've got all my tea towels in here. I've got my microfiber cloths in there. In here I've got these bottles of um, eco-friendly stuff, a cleaner. And then I've got, I think these are kind of like multi-purpose ones. And then there's just like other things that I like to use. I'm using that quite a lot, carpet cleaner. Um, but what I am gonna try and do is slowly make my way through all of these bottles and turn them all into these more eco-friendly options. 
Um, then at the top in this one I've got my like Zaflora and some like nice smelly things and then on the one next to it I've got candles and stuff like that. Um, I am going to be getting some labels to go on here. I've ordered some really nice ones so that they're kind of all pretty rather than handwritten so then I know what's inside them as well. I got this massive massive basket from um, TK Maxx and I'm actually using this at the moment as my washing basket and I've never been happier with a washing basket you can fit so much inside there so yeah I'm super happy with that and then these are the little pegs that I was telling you about I put them all up and they are hanging my dusters off them and then I've got this really lovely large tote bag from Laird Lounge that I've just popped on there as well and it looks really really good and then this is the ironing board cover that you saw me put on and that has just completely transformed the iron like it now is not such mu not so much of a hideous mess so yeah super happy with that and um yeah there we have it that is the finished cupboard let me know in the comments below what you think um, I'm hoping you will love it as much as I do. Uh, I would love to, you know, hear your feedback. And that brings us to the end of another video. Um, make sure you come back next time because we've got another DIY project that I'm doing. So, yeah, come back for that. But until then, stay safe and take care.